Hey guys, it's Jen from Scan and Cut Canvas and Scale Help on Facebook. A lot of you all have been asking about kind of how to do this to kind of bend an image to put it inside of an image. Well, you can always superimpose it on top and do a back minus front to get it that way. But how can we bend an image like you do in Photoshop? Well, I sat here and I thought, what do we have that we already use? We already do that on Object on Path. So how can we take it and kind of modify it more to possibly help us with that? Is it even possible? Well, let's see. This is kind of how I go about thinking of things when um, I try to figure something out. So what I did is I grabbed the soccer ball, click OK, I brought it in. Granted, I don't ever usually size things that way, but I'm kind of hurrying through this. I made it a little bit bigger so that it covers the heart on all sides when it's um, at its full size. So I came in here and I highlighted everything. Came up to Effects and I clicked Object on Path. This is where we have the things to adjust it. So I thought, you know, something in here has to work. So let's try it. Now, this isn't exactly like Photoshop. I mean, yes, we can come in and we can do the node editing to further bend it. But sometimes the more you bend it, the kind of weirder it looks. So I went in here and I checked all of these things and had it looking really funky. Like you can do the warp to pass. Oh, make sure you set your auto preview. And um, see what happens. It gets real funky looking. So then go ahead and uncheck. Well, then you can check the stretch to path. Holy cow smacks. Nope. Well, we want our alignment in the middle. And when it does that, this is what happens. It shoves it all the way over here. Hmm. Well, then we have to start setting our offsets. So these two boxes right here. Repeat count. Well, let's try the fill to path. Oh, no, we don't want that. So let's go back to count. We only want one. When I start trying to figure out things, I set my numbers in large amounts because that will tell me which way it's going. Okay. If you start setting them in small amounts, sometimes it's really hard to figure out which way it's going. So let's set that at two. Okay. So that tells me two is going to take it up. Let's set this one to two. And that takes it away. So let's set that at minus two. Ooh, we're getting close. So let's set this. Let's put this at minus two. Ooh, dang near perfect. So Let's come in here and do a minus 1.5. Getting closer. Okay, so now I know it needs to come over this way some more. Oh, that is just about perfect. And you know what? Let's see. We'll do point seven five. There we go. So I can click remove path. I'm gonna crop. I'm gonna crop the outside away. So let's click preview and there we go. Click OK and there it is. So you see it's still a little bit of work, um, you know, tweaking the numbers and things like that. But, like I said, that was just the first discovery that I just made this morning, trying to figure out a way to do it a little bit easier than having to go in and do all the node editing and using the distort and, and things like that. And granted, you can still um, use the distort if you want and things like that. Um, it's all up to you, but just know that now um, the effects object on path is uh, something else you can do now. Um, and to me, I think that that would work a little bit better. 
um, because it actually does take it right to the shape that you had um, and it trims it right along that edge for you okay guys if you have any questions come and find us at scan and cut canvas and scal help on facebook thanks guys